All right, today I'm going to be doing a uh, um, the uh, LCD and digitizer flex cable on an uh, iWatch. It's the 38 mil first series. Um, battery was swollen, and it tugged at the cables and kind of tore it. I tried to run a bunch of jumpers to fix it, but that wasn't successful. So I ended up just ordering um, a new part. We're gonna uh, I'm gonna solder on the new one. Um, so right here I've got uh, some of my uh, my fast chip, my uh, low melting solder. I'm gonna take my solder iron and I'm just gonna add some of this to make it easier for me to to get it off. I don't want to tear any of the the pads. I'd like to be able to get this all fixed without any other issues. And I'd like to do this without any air, hot air, so I'm going to try to see if we can just use the, use the heat here to slowly pull this up. It's coming out nice. Just add some some good solder to that. Clean out my tip a little bit. quick as well. Those are all level. Clean up the uh, old adhesive as well, so we got a flat, flat surface. I think I'll do a video some other time about how to get the, this board out because I will say removing this this board 
from the, <laughs> I guess that's what you call it, is a, is a pain. Um, I mean, it just seems like one big IC chip. It's got all sorts of connectors all over it, top and bottom. And they're all crammed into the tightest of spots. Now I'm debating whether or not to, uh, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create little, I'm just going to go over it again with some, with some solder. We'll make some little, uh, pillows for them to, to, to flow through the, the those solder joints. It's going to be easier that way than trying to tack each one individually. So. to get a nice little blob on here. Go ahead and hit each pad again. Get them nice and tinned up. That one's not what I like to grab. It's a flex, it's not doing what I want it to do. Good. Add some flux and we're gonna course each solder joint through. Putting a little bit of pressure on each spot just to make sure that it's, it's actually flowing through.
over each one a couple times just to make sure it's level over there that it's actually solder coming through and not just the solder that's on the iron just sticking to the pan. It's actually coming through. positive that we're good there. Everything looks really clean. Everything looks really good. What we can do is we can go ahead and test real fast each one. I don't have the schematic so I'm not bothered about which ones are ground or which ones are not. But I wish this are ground from right here. Just to it. As long as I get some type of feedback, we're probably okay whether or not it's a grounding pad or if it's just going to give me a, some type of continuity there. So this one, I'm going to go back and see if there's something up with him. If I had the schematic, then I know it's probably, you know, nothing or, uh, yeah, we'll see. this one as well let's check uh... so we've got this guy and these two they look good but I'm just gonna make sure I'm positive that they have full connection. All 
All right, let's try it again. Those are flat. They're solders all the way through, so they're probably good, but. So yeah, they've got to be something that I can't test to ground, but um, anyway, that's how to solder on the, the connector, and then it's just getting it back together through that whole mess. Um, yeah, that was fun.